Dub C here, we're back with a food review. So recently, JW Speaker sent me a bunch of really cool items. I really want to check them out. These items include the Fray Bentos meat pies. So I got one that's steak and kidney, and another one that's minced beef and onion. So I'm really excited to get those cooked up. As well as the Cricket Energy Bar, yes, made of crickets, and some red wine bread in a can. So a bunch of cool items I want to check out, make a like a little meal out of it. I'm also going to incorporate some things from uh, the Ala Marie Z Ration sent me. So we have the banana cream pudding for dessert and some triberry granola for a snack. So first thing we got to do is get the Fray Bento's pies opened and get them in the oven because that's where I'm going to cook them. It's time to open this up so we can get them ready for baking. So I'll be taking the lid off of both of them and kind of see what they look like before we cook them. And then you place them in the oven and cook them up. So let's open this one up first. And I, I wanted to try and use a different can opener, but I also don't want to mess it up. So just using a traditional can opener to make sure that uh, there's a nice clean cut. But I'm really interested to see what this looks like um, before you bake it. Because it's got a flaky like looking crust on it. And it sounds really good. there is the product before it's baking and I think that's supposed to rise up and make a nice crust. Okay, I'm going to open this one up the same way. I mean, it looks uh, very similar to the other one. So now I'm just going to place them on a pan and cook them. And now those are in the oven. I'll give updates while I'm cooking them. It does take quite a while to cook them. It says 25 minutes. JW suggested 45 to get a better um, cook out of them. So these are just going to lay out the items I'll be eating in this meal. So we have the Cricut Energy Bar. He also sent some Tabasco spicy chocolate that I'll be interested in trying out. We have the wine bread, red wine bread. So I'll be opening that up. And then we have the banana cream pudding, tri berry granola for snack. And he also sent some Tabasco um, so if I need to zest up the pies. And for drink, I'm going to add in uh, watermelon sports drink that I come across. Uh, I have not tried this flavor before, I don't think, from a Canadian IMP. I'm really excited to try that out. Okay, this is the 20-minute update. This is where the pies are at right now. I see the one on the left is cooking a little bit better, so I'm going to flip them. Okay, now they're rotated, and I'm hoping the other one will start kicking up. Okay, the meat pies are done, and they are cooling, so it's time to get everything prepped up. So first thing I want to open up is the red wine bread, because I think that's a really cool item. Pop top. It's got a nice smell to it. It's got a big old oxygen tab sticking to it. And then you can see the bread in there. Get that out of the way. And plop it down there. Oh, hopefully it comes right out, but a little bit of finesse. Finally got it. And it looks like the bread is actually like pre-cut sliced, so you can just peel it away. So that's really cool. The next thing we can do is make up our watermelon sports drink. I already got the water in my foreign MRE mug, which I believe foreign MRE has some US rations on sale right now. They got full cases uh, for I believe 109 bucks free shipping. I'm going to be restocking here pretty quick, and I think they got the first strike rations as well as many others. Uh, link's going to be down below if you want to check that out. And then for spoon or sport today, I'm actually going to be using something. Um, Jack of Trade sent me the foldable bowls, and he wanted to complete my set by giving me a foldable spork. So that's really cool. It actually fits in this little thing and slides out. You got yourself a nice spork. And I also have the uh, Michael Green Review coaster. He has a YouTube channel as well. He does uh, ration reviews. It's really cool. So here's the Cricut Energy Bar. This is uh, basically crickets flavored. It's really uh, greasy. It's got a kind of a crazy smell to it, but it's got protein in the crickets in it. We'll go ahead and uh, make our banana cream pudding. So this banana cream pudding does take about five minutes to set. So we'll go ahead and uh, open that up. The top. And there's an oxygen absorber inside. 
and it takes 2.5 ounces of water. I got a little pre measure over here, my average Joe and Marie mug. And let's go ahead and seal it, give it a shake, and let it sit for five minutes. Next is the triberry granola. Now this can be eaten as a snack or you know in, in water or milk or whatever you got. I always prefer it on a snack on the go. It's got an oxygen tab in it as well. I'm going to pour some right here. Looks like berries, granola, nice mix. It's got some nice honey, roasted smell. So it looks really good. Last thing we've got to open is the Tabasco spiced chocolate. So I've never seen this before. I've heard of uh, like cayenne spiced chocolate, but I've never heard of the Tabasco. It's got like little slivers. It smells like regular uh, dark chocolate, so I'm excited to try that. Here's the meat pies that are really cooling down. I think this is the beef and onion. And then this is the steak and kidney. The steak and kidney stayed uh, a little bit more formed. They're still cooling down, so let's go ahead and try some other stuff out. So we'll start out with the Cricut Energy Bar. Oops, kind of flaking apart on me. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Jiminy Cricket, that's good. So this is the Cricut Energy Bar. It has no guts, no glory, no grain, gluten, soy, or dairy. So it's a very rich flavor. It almost reminds me of like a rye flavor bread. It's banana bread, um, but it's just a very rich flavor, like dark chocolate. Very A little bit bitter up front, but then you have a really nice texture, like a banana bread, and it has a very small essence of banana. So that's really good. I find that really enjoyable. Now I'm going to try a piece of this red wine bread. Like I said, it's kind of pre-cut. can flake a piece off, or at least it seems it is. That bread is fantastic. It has a slight essence of like a wine for sure, like a red wine. It's very moist from being in the can, and it's like a sweet accent. So, really, it's like a really nice dessert or snack bread. I'm gonna wash it down with the watermelon drink. Oh, that's as good as I expected to be. Really, I really enjoy sports drinks. Um, the watermelon flavor is not overdone. Usually, like the artificial watermelon flavor is like so overpowering that is like a light essence of watermelon it's very refreshing very light i'm gonna go ahead and try some of this triberry granola real quick just get a handful like i said i would eat it like a snack but it can be eaten many ways that is perfect just how it is as a snack it's very like um it's not crunch it's crunchy but it's chewy and i really like that you know you don't want something granola that's extremely hard to hurt your teeth but it also has dried cranberries in it and it's like a honey uh, accent to it overall that's a fantastic snack time to start trying the main out so we're going to try the beef and onion pie first nice and crunchy top like i love a crunch said this one got a little crazy all right let's get a big bite of this it smells absolutely fantastic i'm a huge fan of biscuits and gravy hot beef sandwiches and it looks like a good mixture of both of that. So you got your crust, pieces of meat in there, a nice onion smell. That Fray Bento pie is amazing. It's got all the things I really enjoy all in one bite. So it's got a nice beef flavor. The onion flavor comes really well. It's got the crunchy exterior, but I also like the dough inside to be a little like uh, gooey. Everything comes together really well. I'm mean, no problem eating that entire thing. Now I want to try the other one. So this is the steak and kidney. Now this one didn't uh, get as crazy as far as when it was getting cooked. So it's going to turn out a little bit more uniform, hopefully. And this one has a little bit more of a beef gravy smell to it. More rich. And this is to be the steak and kidney. And like I said, it's got a nice, it's like a richer flavor, or a richer smell to it when plating it. So, got a nice big piece of meat, the crust in there, and the gravy. And I had to stop myself from eating it all, so 
that is also fantastic. It's on a it's a more rich, like a meaty flavor. Whereas this one has the onion flavor that's pretty pronounced. This one doesn't have the onion flavor. So th those who didn't like onions, you'd want to have that one. And that's a nice rich meat flavor. The gravy's really rich. And the crust just is a great carrier for both. These are both fantastic meat pies. Now I'm going to try and add a little uh, heat to them. Like I said, they, they are perfectly fine as is. But I do want to add some of the Tabasco. Get a little spice on them. Just on both of them to try them out. Okay, so they're going to try the Tabasco on the onion main. Okay, that made that main even better to me. I like a little bit of spice. Very enjoyable. Like I said, just all the flavors come through really well, and it gives it that heat. I'm going to try the same thing on the steak and kidney. Again, the Tabasco just enhanced the flavor to me for that main. I couldn't tell you which one I like better because I like them both equally, and they're both fantastic. Since we're on the topic of Tabasco, we'll go ahead and try one of these chocolate slivers out. Okay, for the Tabasco spicy chocolate, it's actually really nice. The It's like a dark chocolate, and then the flavor is enhanced by the spice, in my opinion. So that is fantastic. It's a really good uh, like after-dinner dessert. Now I'm going to try this banana cream pudding. It looks like it reconstituted really well. Looks just like pudding. All right, let's go ahead and try the banana cream pudding out. Okay, the banana cream pudding, again, very smooth, very rich, creamy banana flavor. Reminds me of like a, the banana cream pies. Really good. That would definitely go out really well, but let's go ahead and, uh, since we got banana bread cricket bar, let's go ahead and make a mega bite with this banana pudding. A little banana cricket bar bread with some banana cream pudding. Now that was a mega bite. The cricket energy bar served as a great base for the banana cream pudding. It was like eating a banana cream pie. Really good. Just absolutely fantastic meal. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and we'll talk more in final thoughts. Okay, so final thoughts on the items I tried today. The Fray Bento's pies were fantastic. Both flavors, the onion flavor and the steak and kidney flavor, both Really enjoyed them, and it reminded me of things like uh, pot pies and biscuits and gravy, which I enjoy very much. So really excited I got to try those out. They were fantastic. The red wine bread was also really interesting. It was very strong red wine flavor, and it went really good with the mains because it had that rich flavor. The uh, triberry granola was a great snack, and that's coming from Z Rations and OnMarie's.com. I don't know if it's out yet, but it's coming. Uh, should be coming soon if not. And then the banana cream pie pudding, that was fantastic. It went, it was very smooth. It turned out uh, reconstituted into perfect pudding. And then I had the cricket bar, which is made of crickets, like a banana bread. After I tried that, it was a very distinct, rich flavor, um, like almost like a rye or a dark chocolate, but it was still had the accent of the banana that was really good. And then the mega bite, I put the banana cream pie filling on top of that, it went perfect. It was like eating a banana cream pie. Now the Tabat, putting the Tabasco on the mains only enhanced the flavor just as the Tabasco uh, chocolate. It was like, it wasn't necessarily the flavor, it was the heat that really enhanced the flavor. So overall, it was fantastic. Everything went, to, went together perfect. And then I had the watermelon drink that I've been wanting to try for a while. That was really good as well. So absolutely perfect meal. Special thanks to JW Speaker for sending that stuff my way. Really appreciate it and got me to try some new cool new items. As well as special thanks to all Mary's and uh, sending that stuff to, for me to try out as well. So, hope to try some more cool stuff out. But that's all I got now. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day.